Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. In this video, I'm going to give you some advice on how to get the best grades you can in the 2024 GCSEs. Now, I'm going to assume that you watch my videos. If you don't, then the advice I'm giving you will apply to whatever revision method you prefer to use. OK, here's the first tip. Think of the GCSEs as lots of little challenges rather than one big challenge. Now, it's very easy to see the GCSEs as some sort of gigantic mountain to climb, and that can make students feel anxious. But actually, the GCSEs are really lots of little topics, and many of these topics are fairly straightforward. So rather than thinking of the GCSEs as one huge obstacle, think of them as little challenges that you can tackle one at a time. Another thing to bear in mind is that the grade boundaries are not as high as you might think. I'm showing you here the AQA GCSE grade boundaries for chemistry, biology and physics higher tier in 2023. Notice that in chemistry and biology, students could get a level 6 by achieving fewer than half the marks. And in physics, a level 6 was just over half the marks. Here are the grade boundaries for 2023 Combined Science Trilogy higher tier. Notice that a level 7-6 required fewer than half marks. Here are the grade boundaries for 2023 Combined Science Trilogy Foundation Tier. In this case, to achieve a 5-5, students only had to get 270 marks out of 420. Now, the 2024 grade boundaries will be determined after the exams have been sat, but the 2023 grade boundaries show that you can get excellent grades without getting every question correct. Here's a second piece of advice. Try to give yourself plenty of time for revision. Now, revising for exams can be stressful. If you can start early, you will give yourself plenty of time, and that may help to make revision less stressful. It's up to you when you want to start revising, and I know that starting can actually be the hardest part. So here's tip three. Start with a topic that you like. Often students like topics that they can do. So by starting with a topic that you like, you can get your revision started in a positive way. Then tackle a topic that you don't like. Now, in many cases, students don't like topics that they find hard. However, it's often the case that when students revise, they discover that a hard topic is actually easier than they thought. Sometimes it can be difficult to understand a topic in lessons, but working on the same topic at home can make all the difference. Here's tip four. If you cannot get into a topic, Revise a different topic, and then come back to it later. Sometimes you just won't feel like revising a certain topic, and that's perfectly okay. But rather than not revising at all, just choose a different topic. You might find that you're ready to tackle the difficult topic tomorrow instead. Here's tip number five. Remember to revise the working scientifically topic. This is at the beginning of all of the AQA GCSE science specifications. And I've put links to the specifications in the description below. Students sometimes neglect the working scientifically topic, but it's worth a lot of exam marks. Working scientifically involves ideas such as precision, uncertainty, repeatability, and reproducibility. I've put together a playlist covering many of these ideas, and I'd recommend that you watch those videos. Here's tip number six try to get into the habit of doing some revision every day. Now, I'm not saying that you need to spend hours revising every day, but if you can set aside even just half an hour a day, that will make a huge difference to your revision. Of course, you might miss a day now and then, and that's fine, but trying to do a bit of revision every day is a good habit. Here's tip seven. I'd recommend that you make flashcards as you watch each video. Usually in every video, there'll be something that you need to learn. I've always found that flashcards are a highly effective way to do that. You can make them on bits of paper, or you can use a flashcard app, and either way is fine. By regularly reviewing your flashcards, you'll find that you'll learn the material. Remember that in 2024, students are given the equations for the physics exams, and I'll put a link to the AQA equation sheets in the description below the video. However, the equation sheets do not include units so you should learn those. Here's tip eight, give yourself breaks. Generally, students revise more effectively if they have breaks along the way. Now you will know what's best for you. You might want to revise for 45 minutes and then take a 15 minute break. 
Or you might want to revise for two hours and then take a break. It's up to you. Think of a break as a little reward that you've earned by revising. You might want to take a whole day off from revising every now and then and do something completely different. And again, that's up to you. Here's tip number nine. Use past exam papers if you feel that you're ready to. I think that past papers work best when you've revised a topic and want to check your understanding. If you find a past paper hard, then look at what you struggled with and revise that topic again. Also, bear in mind what I said at the start when we looked at grade boundaries. You don't have to get full marks to get a good grade. Here's tip number 10. Any revision is better than no revision. Lots of students leave their revision until the last minute. In many ways, that's understandable because revision can be hard. But your brain is a lot better at learning than you might think. So even if you only have a short period of time before your exams, try not to feel demoralised, because even a short period of time can be really useful. OK, so that's it from me. I wish you all the best of luck in your GCSE exams. <laughs>